guys welcome back to my youtube space so i'm finally getting a chance to come on here and do a flip of my planner talk talk about my planning system um talk about what's next uh for me um to be honest i am so settled in my a5 main planner that i really don't need to change anything about my planning system at the moment but being a planner person i just want to experiment I guess that's how I'm feeling right now, um, even though I am planning in my main planner every day almost. Um, there is something, I am getting an itch to switch something up, um, but I just want to talk about all of that with you guys on my channel and take you through my journey, I guess. So um, just to talk about my main plan, I'm going to put this aside. This is something new that I'm going to be um, talking about with you guys in just a minute. but here's my main planner um the color of this cover is coming quite true to color on the video but this is a julio purple croc eye it's one of my favorite leathers i feel that it's and i think i've said this on my channel before this is such an underrated leather cover i absolutely love this cover um i think i started buying these um purple crocs uh like two years ago or something and my first one was a hobonichi weeks cover that i had planned to use as a wallet i never used a hobonichi weeks consistently so i got rid of that but i do have a germondo i have this beautiful a5 zip and i'm thinking about getting a few more but um that will happen in time um as the use comes up because i do like my planners being functional so anytime I'm looking for a new planner or a new setup, I think about how I can make it functional in my system. And at the moment, the A5 uh, yearly notebook that I'm using from Paper Test Designs is the only functional thing that I am enjoying, to be honest. I have tried using a standard size. Um, I don't have my other planners on me at the moment, otherwise I would have gone through them, but I've used so many standard size. I just feel at this point in my life, the standard size is being a bit small, which is why I'm just looking at bigger planners like the A5, and I'm going to show you a B5 that I've bought, uh, which is a notebook. But currently, I'm just in this yearly notebook from Paper Test Designs. Um, I had a few comments on my Instagram saying that there's not much content on this paper test design planner so i'm really happy to show you guys how i'm using it but to be honest um any a5 planner would work for me um as long as i have some flexibility um in the weeklies so the weeklies is the only thing that i'm really picky about because it's the only section in my planner that really doesn't work out as much as i want to so if i have some flexibility in changing the layout or just customizing it to my own needs um that's what truly works for me so the paper test designs planner came the closest when it came to that so initially this year when i started the year i had started it with a sterling and common planner in a5 but that's a vertical and when paper test designs came out with this one i did a switch and kind of back planned my entire uh year which was only two months so i didn't really mind so up front um i don't really have anything in the back pocket i don't use my pop i don't sorry I don't use my pockets functionally, but I have some stickers in here that I've been trying to use up and just basically use up and be able to buy new ones because I haven't bought stickers for the longest time. My pockets are always functional and I have customized my planner to the extent of how I like it to look like. So I love this dashboard. This is a printable I got from Salty22. I get a lot of questions about this dashboard, um, but I don't think she has this di digital print anymore in her shop. But when she did, I had bought it and I absolutely love it. I put it in all of my planners. Always have, uh, so I always have a bunch of sticky notes up front. Um, not only do they give my planner like a pop of color, I always use them functionally. I can quickly come on here and grab a sticky note. I have done a flip of this planner before, so I'm just gonna quickly skim through it. I've got a year at a glance up front. I've got my master task list on the right. This is probably my favorite part of this planner where I have like a personal wish list of things that I always wanted to do in my life. For example, if I wanted to like save up for something, if I wanted to, um, the first thing I've got on here is finish a notebook. I have been trying to finish a notebook for the longest time. I've bought so many notebooks, so many planners, but I just haven't been able to finish them like till the last page, you know. 
So this planner is coming pretty close to being finished, which is why I'm so happy in here. I love the paper and everything of this planner. So then you get into the yearly calendars. The perpetual calendar I just use for important dates. I don't really use this as much. Then we've got these quarterly views. I mark important dates on the left. On the right, I put down monthly goals. So every month I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna brainstorm my monthly goals or to-dos over here. And then I will migrate them to my monthlies. Then you get into the month on two pages. Between that, I just have like a main daily planner checklist or trigger list. To be honest, I've never used this. Don't plan to add this to my next planners because I just never reference these kind of lists. Then you get into the month on two pages. This is a very functional spread for me where I do my monthly to-dos and then important dates and literally everything, every memory, every highlight just goes on here. And then between the month on two pages, you always get like two blank pages in the paper test designs where I put my overviews and my finances. So this is like brainstorming and planning for the entire month. And that's what I've done for every month. So I'm just going to quickly flip those, flip through those. This was April, then this is May, this was June, and now we are, I kind of run out of space for these overviews, so to do a lot of financial planning, which is why I had to tip something in. We're currently in July, and I'm also planning for August. So once you, um flip through the month on two pages you get a few blank spreads so i decided to do a yearly overview um i decided to draw this out because this just gives me such a good bird's eye view of the entire year and if i need to plan something out i have a goal spread which i've been planning um what i want to do for the rest of the six months remaining in the year then i also have the same kind of financial overview so this is just dedicated to money matters then you get into the main part of the planner where I basically at the start of the month would put like a monthly overview page with the dates because I like crossing them out as I go through the month and then followed by the weekly page where you get an overview page. I would pre-plan the week out followed by seven blank pages to plan out your dailies and I think this format has been the most productive format for me. Um, the only thing that I would I might want to try out differently would be if my weeklies could be together because what I do is that when I'm planning the weekly out, I am constantly flipping back and forth between the following weeks because I want to move stuff over to next week or refer to my previous week. So I really want to try a planner out where I would have a weekly overview page like this, but then all the weeklies would be together. I'm kind of stepping on my own foot because I also use this format really functionally as well where I have the weekly and the daily planner, the daily planning pages next to each other. So when I'm planning out my daily, I have my weekly reference page right here. So this is really working out really well as well as well for me. But um, I'm just kind of thinking what if I could have my weeklies together? So I'm just going to quickly flip through some of my daily pages. These were um, the pages that I had previously shown in my last video. So most of my daily pages just look like this. I do have a few blank pages in here. Those don't, do not haunt me. I don't mind having blank pages because I'm still using this planner very functionally. So I'm going to flip to, so this is July, this is the current month. I've got my monthly overview over here, my weekly overview. And as you can see, I really, really use my weekly overview functionally. It's so filled up. I've got my weekly tasks. I also kind of squeeze in my meal planning in here. And then I have like a weekly to-do list and a to-buy list all on the same page. And then I have my dailies. this is the current week which i am currently in the process of filling out and then yesterday was monday i planned out yesterday 
and today is Tuesday sorry so I absolutely love this planner I do have a reference section back here where I put down my um, like my lists and stuff and then I have like a scratch note section as well and sometimes my kids draw back here and stuff so I don't mind that oh and I also put down a savings challenge at the back because I wanted to start one of these so anyways I have been consistently planning this since March I had back planned January and February in here so I do have the entire year but what I'm trying to um, change about my planner is that I want to have a bigger planner. So I'm using an A5 and I have been wanting to experiment with a bigger planner size. And that is where my new experiment is coming into picture, which is this B5 planner. And as you can see, that the B5 is bigger than the A5, it's wider, um, it's basically huge. And this is a notebook, just a plain B5 notebook from Sterling Inc. And what I'm planning to do in here is that I am planning to bullet journal and make my own planner and experiment with the size. So basically, I'm trying to achieve two things at once where I get to test out the size and see if I really like sorry if I really like a huge planner like this one or if a5 is my true size and then the other thing that I wanted to do with this notebook is to bullet journal my planner where I would draw out absolutely everything from scratch and basically put together a planner a format which would suit my purposes so in here I've decided to put down this year at a glance I took an a5 printable and I just printed it on a letter size paper and I made it to fit the entire paper trimmed off the axis on the sides and then I just pasted it on here it's printed on a sticker paper and this is the only printable that I'm planning to put in here apart from some dashboards maybe but the rest I'm just planning to draw myself because I don't want to bulk up this notebook with um, these kind of sticker dashboards or tip-ins so I hope you guys like this video I hope to do more uh, planner videos on here on YouTube and Instagram um, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have or if you guys want to see more planner flips let me know and I would happily flip through my planner anytime you guys would want. So thank you for joining me and I hope to catch you guys soon again.